There are many definitions of refractory according to the terminology of international standards, such as ISO, ASTM, JIS, and so on. However, it is generally understood to refer to the non-metallic materials which have the chemical and physical characteristics allowing them to be used in high temperature environments. The chemicals are classified by their oxide compounds. The type of element is grouped according to the periodic table. Most oxide compounds of elements on the left-hand side of the periodic table have basic characteristics, while those on the right hand have acidic characteristics. The group of elements in the middle have neutral characteristics. Refractory can be classified through two means, by their chemical properties and by their physical properties. In physical classification, they are easily grouped according to their following appearances. Shaped refractory, such as the refractory brick and insulating fire brick. Unshaped or monolithic refractory, such as refractory mortar, castable, lightweight castable, plastic refractory, gunning mixes, ramming mixes, patching mixes, spraying mixes, and coating mixes. And fibrous refractory materials such as ceramic fiber. In chemical classification, refractory can be grouped into basic, neutral, and acidic refractory. The chemical classification of refractory materials also follows the characteristics of compounds presented in the periodic table. Hence, refractory containing high silica or silicon dioxide content is classified as the acidic refractory type, while refractory containing high magnesium oxide and or calcium oxide is classified as the basic refractory type. Refractory of a high alumina content or chromic oxide content is classified as the neutral refractory type. Therefore, we can make the general diagram of refractory classification as follows. Most acidic refractories are compounds of aluminosilicate materials, which mainly contain alumina and silica content. Fire clay refractory brick is a type of acidic refractory. It has an alumina content of less than 45%. The subgroup of fire clay refractory brick is separated by the refractoriness, which is presented in the pyrometric cone equivalent, or PCE value, and is related to the softening temperature of the refractory brick. According to ASTM, the fire clay refractory brick is classified into five subgroups. Super duty, high duty, medium duty, low duty, and semi-silica brick. Fire clay brick is recommended for use in low temperature environments such as the cyclone, calcina, inlet zone, and cooler in the cement kiln, backup lining in the steel and glass industry, and so on. High alumina brick is classified as neutral type of refractory. It has a high alumina content of more than 50%. It has higher refractoriness than fire clay refractory brick. High alumina refractory brick is separated in seven subgroups, according to ASTM standards, by their alumina content and their refractoriness. High alumina brick is recommended for use in medium to high temperature and high abrasive environments, such as the safety zone, outlet, kiln hood and cooler roof in the cement kiln, the side wall of the ceramic kiln and so on. A well-known basic refractory brick in the cement industry is the magnesia containing brick such as magnesite brick, magnesite chrome brick and chrome magnesite brick. However, through the advanced technology of refractory, chrome free refractory bricks have been developed such as magnesia alumina or spinel brick in order to replace the chromic oxide material. This is because chromic oxide can be transformed from trivalent to hexavalent chromic oxide after reacting with alkali at high temperatures. And this
In the water cement ratio theory, it requires a higher content to water if the higher luminous cement in the mix is higher in content. It will have good strength at room temperature, but the strength will drop at high temperature due to the loss of hydraulic bonding. Castable grade should be carefully selected for use because it has various properties, not only refractoriness such as strength, abrasion, load bearing capability, chemical resistance, thermal conductivity, thermal shock and so on. Other refractory materials are named after their installation methods such as gunning mix for gunning application. This requires a gunning machine for installation. Ramming mix for ramming application. This is widely used at the bottom half of the electric arc furnace due to its jointless lining. Spraying mix for spraying application. This also needs a special spraying machine for installation. Coating materials for coating application. Patching mix for manual patching work. Plastic refractory, a semi-wet ready mix refractory which has high plasticity. It is usually used for repairing the reheating furnaces of the steel industry.